Where there is a river, there are people. And where there are people, there is a river. The Han River, or Hangang, has supported human activity for a millennia. Even today, people like myself and my friends enjoy spending a summer day by the river. My name is Johnny. Three years ago, I moved from the United States to Korea, my parents' homeland. That's George. We call him by his Korean name, Chunzam. That strong guy is Philip. We're all from the United States and we teach English in Seoul. We traveled throughout Korea on our bikes. Yeah, baby! Yeah. The experience of seeing Korea in all its variety, from the seaside to the mountains and the cities to the deep countryside, convinced us to embark on more journeys and learn more of the country we're living in. <laughs> Destination, Han River. <laughs> The south and north branches of the Han River come together at Tumulmori, Gyeonggi-do, forming the starting point of the Han River. This 500-kilometer waterway has been the source of life as well as history. It flows serenely into the city. Seoul is a megalopolis of 10 million residents. The Han River cuts across the city from east to west. We will be traveling along this waterway. Actually, I want the pink one. I want the pink cruise one. Wow. some style. It's free, it's free, dude. Everything's free. That's kind of cool. What do you think, guys? I think this is the start of a great city in the world. I think this is the start of a great Boom! Boom! Let it explode. Yeah. There are 21 free bike rental centers in Seoul. A piece of new and welcome information. <laughs> yeah, baby. We've all been living in Seoul for two or three years. We're ready to see a new side of the city. And it seems like we're off to a great start. The Han River is an attractive destination for bike travelers, just like us. Its bike paths extend some 70 kilometers along the river's northern and southern banks. Make it move. Make it. <laughs> the hell is that? I think that's a bug. Slow down for a second. <laughs> Traveling by bike alongside the river is immensely enjoyable. <laughs> you know, just trying to maybe just explore this country as much as we can. And the best way to do that, of course, is by bicycle as opposed to train or bus, which everybody else usually goes by I mean you it's um, definitely a, a different viewing experience it gives you a whole new perspective on the city you really see the size and, and actually what goes on in, um, in all the corners everywhere you look so to me it's, it's just um, a different perspective that's, that's one thing I love about it 
Traveling is about learning about yourself as you head towards your destination. Today, our ultimate destination is nature. This ecological park is located on the northern banks of the Han River. Over time, cities and development can alter the flow of the river, making the preservation of its original course difficult, but something that should be preserved as much as possible. Shh, follow us quietly. These are spot-billed ducks. They used to only nest here in the winter, but they've become year-round residents. Two years ago, they removed concrete from the riverbanks, planted trees, and built an artificial island for birds to inhabit. The Han River is home to many plants and animals. It shows how humans can live in harmony with nature. If you're lucky, you can make unexpected friends along the Han River. Before we part ways, we introduce ourselves. Chun Sam makes the first move. Go up, go up, go up, go up over here. Go up more. Go up, just surround, circle him, circle him. I got him. What do you got, Saw? Where do you go? Where? Wish us luck. We got you. We're not going to eat you, though. You're in luck. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right. See you later. See you next time. That's how we do it. Rolling in Seoul City, where the Han River will be the prime place to be. Yeah, a little bit later, we be having that duck galbi, the barbecue, the mud, the kimchi, the sangchun. Yeah, but they call me Chun Tam. Don't call me sangchun. Yeah. Um, it's just really hard to, to sit back and, and realize, oh, you know, there is nature out there and there's places to go and, you know, slow the pace down a really, you know, a bit and just relax. And um, the Han definitely is a place to do that. I mean, it's so expansive both ways that you could ride for hours and not see the same thing twice. So, I mean, it's, um, it's got everything to offer as far as a place for people to really come and chill. Seoul is not that expansive. Like, everything is kind of compact. So, like, biking along the Han is, like, a great way to, like, just, like, travel, like, from place to place. Around dusk, we find a green expanse of lush vegetation. There's an astounding secret behind this oasis of greenery, however. I would have never imagined uh, this being a landfill before. I mean, you look at the ground and the grass is greener than the grass that you see out in the countryside. Like, that's, uh, that's serious, I mean, and there's trash underneath us and you, yeah. we saw in the beginning that they're using you know even still the natural gas from it yeah 17 years ago the spot was a landfill covered with 110 million tons of trash forming a hundred meter tall mountain the city covered up the landfill with soil and plants turning it into an urban reforestation project and park for soul lights and animals alike I can turn a negative into a positive, you know? Because I like to think that's the story of life. You know, you have problems in life, you have problems in the world, but if we could all turn it into a positive, 
you know, right, turn right. the negative around to a positive. This is a site of innovation where trash filled land has been transformed into a life giving park. The Han River sparkles in the golden glow of the evening. Nature never ceases to provide us with new perspectives on life. This pedestrian bridge was severed during the Korean War, turning the simple act of crossing the river into a life-threatening endeavor. The Han River has been witness to the trials and tribulations of Korean history. For as long as people have lived here, the Han River has been essential for basic needs from laundry to fish for dinner. It also provided recreation year-round, with sledding and skating in the winter and swimming in the summer. The river is strongly identified with the city of Seoul. Korea's economic development is called the miracle on the Han. The river ties together Korea's past and future. Although its appearance has changed, the river is still the center of life in Seoul. Every Saturday, there is a flea market under the Cheongdam Bridge. Most things cost less than $10, and the haggling over the price is half the fun. The market is filled with secondhand goods. You can pick up a pair of vintage sneakers. A pair of children's jeans costs less than a dollar. It's not just objects, but memories being offered at this market. Every market has its centerpiece. Here, it is the Stop Global Warming campaign. The man with the brush is Professor Yoon Ho Sup. He is called the green designer for his work. He paints designs and writes slogans promoting environmental consciousness. Whoever wears his designs becomes a green canvas. Oh, every day. Every day is Earth Day, Earth is this day. campaign's motto. Every day Earth Day. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, yeah. You can come to the Yeah. Only one place you can get this. 